Welcome to the lesson, What is Motion? In this lesson, we'll explore the concept of motion, and how it affects an object's position, and even an object's direction, over a period of time. We'll also explore changes in the position of an object, and how to calculate speed. The vocabulary words for this lesson are acceleration, force, motion, position, speed, and velocity. Did you know that right now you are in motion? Well, at least some parts of you are, like your eyes, your head, and inside your body, your lungs, and your heart. Anything that moves, whether it goes up, down, sideways, or just spins around, is in motion. Take a look around you. Can you see other things that are in motion? What type of motion do you think those items are in? Are they moving fast or slow, up or down, from side to side, or are they changing direction all the time? How fast do you think you were going on the way to school today? Did you know you can calculate how fast you were going by comparing the distance you traveled with the time it took you to get to school? This measurement of distance and time is speed. Let's see some examples of speed in everyday life. How about the numbers on the sign in the picture? Do you know what these mean? Click each of the pictures in turn to discover more. The number indicates the maximum allowed speed for vehicles on that road. Usually, the number represents miles per hour, a common unit used to express speed. To make it easier to calculate speed, we use this formula. Speed equals distance divided by time. Next time you're in a car, see if you can tell what speed you are going from the speedometer. Speed can also be expressed in meters per second. This unit is often used to express the speed of runners. How many meters per second do you think you can run? Look at these two school buses. How do you think their motions compare? Did you notice that they are moving in different directions? One bus is going to school in the morning, and the other is coming home in the afternoon. So the buses have different velocities. The velocity of an object tells two things, the speed and direction of the object. Two objects can have the same speed but different velocities because they're going in different directions. Click each image to see that bus's velocity. The bus coming home from school is moving south at 40 kilometers per hour, so it has a velocity of 40 kilometers per hour south. The bus on the way to school is moving north at 40 kilometers per hour, so it has a velocity of 40 kilometers per hour north. Same speed different velocity. How do you think the velocity of a puck on an ice hockey rink changes as it moves around? Click the play button to begin. Once dropped, the puck is pulled to the ice by the force of gravity. Each hockey stick exerts a force that pushes the puck. Each time the puck is hit, its velocity changes. Even when it isn't hit, the puck slows down because the force of friction opposes its motion. The puck has acceleration whenever a force changes its velocity by changing its speed, its direction, or both. Do you remember how to calculate the speed of an object? Well, you've got to divide the distance traveled by the amount of time. What do you think is the speed of each of these objects? Drag the speed boxes to the correct locations.
three meters per second. You got the speed calculations right. Let's check and see if you can remember exactly what velocity describes. Click the option you... That's right. The velocity of an object describes its speed and direction. Let's see if you can recall terms which describe acceleration. Select terms below which you think are correct, then click OK. That's correct. Acceleration is a change in speed or direction or both. Something that is sitting still is definitely not accelerating, although when you sit still, parts of your body are still in motion. That's great work. Let's take a minute to review what you've learned about motion. An object in motion constantly changes its position and sometimes changes its direction. The speed of a moving object is the distance the object travels divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Velocity is the speed of a moving object and the direction the object moves. An external force is needed to change the motion of an object. Acceleration is the change in an object's velocity caused by a force acting on the object. Now that